Hello, penguins and dolphins, it's Mr. Bruska. It's time to do some subtraction. Let's remember what subtraction means. I'll show you a subtraction symbol. That's the symbol that means subtraction. Sometimes we call it minus. Say minus, say subtraction. What does minus and subtraction mean? Take it away. Yeah, we're gonna take it away. We're gonna take away something. We're gonna have a number and then we're gonna take some away and see how many we have left. Awesome. Today we're gonna do some story subtraction. So when I say go, push pause, go get a piece of paper and a pencil. Not a marker, a pencil. Go. All right, are you back? Excellent, put your paper on your table, your working space, just like mine. And now here's what I want you to do. Go right to the middle at the top and make your line that goes right down to the bottom. Good job. Now, I want you to go right in the middle here and make a line right across like that. So it looks like a giant T. Now, you have a big square here. Go up to the middle of that square and make a line across and go to the bottom square and make a line across. Now you're gonna have a bunch of different boxes. What shape are those boxes? Long, long, short, short. One, two, three, four vertices. What shape are they all? Rectangles, yeah, they're rectangles. All right, we're gonna do our first story up in this box here. It's gonna be a subtraction. I'm gonna tell you a story about something that's going to be take away. I'm gonna tell you a ladybug, a ladybug story. And then I want you to write the equation. Once upon a time, there were five ladybugs. Five ladybugs, but then three of them flew away. They went away. Five ladybugs and three went away. We're gonna write that equation. If you want to write it by yourself, push pause and write it. Five ladybugs and three went away. Okay, let's see. I hope you wrote it in pencil. Here we go. There were five ladybugs, so you have to write a five first, and then three went away. If you take them away, what symbol do we have to write? Minus. Don't forget to write your minus. And how many went away? Three. There were five and three went away. Now here's the tricky part. Don't forget this symbol, equal. Don't forget to put your equal. So if there's five and three go away, how many will be left? Push pause and write the number. You can use your fingers or you can draw over here on this side. I'm gonna draw the picture and I'm not gonna do all the body parts. I'm just gonna draw little circles for my ladybugs. Here's my five ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five. Five little ladybugs. How many flew away? How many did we minus? Three. This one, this one, and this one. Remember how I showed you? You can just exit out. Three went away. So how many were left on the leaf? Count them. One, two. And that is your answer. Two ladybugs. I will tell you my story. Once upon a time, there were five ladybugs. And then three of them minus and flew away. And then there was only two left. Okay, if you need to fix yours, you can push pause and fix it. All right, next story. Let's do a story about ants. Once upon a time, there were nine ants. Nine ants looking for leaves. But then five of them went back in the hole to the nest. Nine ants, five of them went away to the hole. 
How many are left? Okay, you can push pause and see if you can write the equation. See if you can do it by yourself. All right, now I'm gonna help and we're gonna do it. All right, let's see if you wrote this. How many ants were there? Nine. Nine ants, so I put nine. But then five of them went away. If we say away, don't forget your minus. Five of them, five of them went away. Yeah, nine ants minus five, because five went back in the nest. Oh, don't forget that symbol. Equals, I have to do a tiny little equals. So if there's nine and five go away, how many will be left? I'm gonna have to draw my picture. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little ants. And how many walked back to the, to the nest, to the queen? Five of them, one. Two, three, four, five. So how many were still walking around outside looking for leaves? Count them. Yeah, there were four left. Where's my four? Now put your finger and read your equation. Go. Nine minus five equals four. Now you can push pause and tell the story of the ants to your family. Go. Okay, next story. This story is gonna be about bees. There were eight bees flying around looking for nectar and pollen. How many? Eight bees. But then three of the bees had to go back to the hive. Goodbye. Three went away. There were eight and three went away. How many were left? See if you can write it. There were eight bees and three went away. What symbol do we have to write? Minus three. Because those three went back to the hive. So how many are left? Draw your picture and see if you can figure it out. Push pause. Are you back? Okay, I'm gonna draw my picture. We're gonna see if we got the same answer. Here's my eight bees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bees. And how many went back to the hive? Three. One, two, three. So how many are left? Uh, count them carefully. One, two, three, four, five. I got five. Five were left. Is that what you got? If you got five, kiss your brain. If you didn't get five, that's okay. Use the pencil, erase it, and fix it. Then kiss your brain. Awesome. All right, last one. This one is going to be five. No, I'm going to do a tricky one. Once upon a time, there were 10 baboons on the savannah. 10 baboons on the savannah. And one of them stole my sandwich and ran away. See if you can write that equation. 10 baboons minus one ran away. Write it. Push pause if you need to. All right, here I go. There were 10 baboons on the savanna. Did you make your 10? Now remember, we have to do that symbol. Minus, minus one, because that was the one who stole my sandwich and ran away back to the savannah. 10 minus one, don't forget your equals, equals, uh, how many will be left? If only one runs away, how many are gonna be left? Draw it if you need to. Or you might even be able to use your fingers. 10 baboons and one ran away. This one, boop, ran away. How many are left? Did you say nine? Yeah, it was nine. We didn't have to draw the picture. We did our fingers that time. Nine. Once upon a time, there were 10 baboons on the savannah. Minus one. One grabbed my sandwich and ran away. 
Then there were only nine left. Ha ha. Awesome. All right, if you need to fix it, erase it and fix it. Now get ready for the test. Are you ready? And we're back for test time. Guess what? I wrote one, two, three, four equations, and they're all minus. I'm going to read them to you. Seven minus four equals blankety blank. Nine minus two equals blankety blank. Ten minus five equals blankety blank. And here's the tricky one at the bottom. Thirteen minus three equals blankety blank. I want you to write these equations and figure out the answer. And I want you to think of a story. You could talk about butterflies or tarantulas or walking sticks or um, bears. Any animal you want to, think of a story and solve the equation. Maybe you want to use your fingers. Maybe you want to draw over here to figure it out. And when you're done, I want you to take a picture of it. Chick, chick. Your family can take a picture and send it to Miss Boyer and to send it to me so we can see your beautiful, beautiful equations. And that way we'll know that your brain is still growing. <gasps> if your brain is still growing and you're doing work at your house, your home, how am I gonna feel? And how is Miss Boyer gonna feel? So happy. What about if you say, I'm not going to do my work. Mm. I don't want my brain to get smart. And you don't do your work. And your brain doesn't get smart. How are we going to feel? So sad. So please do your best work so we can see it. And then you can kiss your brain. All right, there they are. Do your work. Send us a picture.